Come on, let's do it. Come move this. Even here to the Lord. Come on.
Wana Wewe ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Wana Wewe ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Wewe
The Lord bless you, dear friends, and a Merry Christmas. It's really exciting to meet you here. We are trusting that the Lord has kept you and you are enjoying his goodness even in this season. We are really excited that uh, it's Christmas. And uh, we thank God that God is actually revealing himself to us in many ways. Over the last few sessions, we've been revolving around messages that... Uh, help us understand more about Christmas. And this being Christmas season, we want to still talk about Christmas. And therefore, it's a great pleasure to have you, Pastor Patrick. The Lord bless you for finding time to come and uh, share a thought with us. Thank you so much, Elder oh, Philip. Wow. Yeah, it's my joy also to exactly. come. Exactly. And, and, you know, over this season of Christmas, yeah. that we may share more about Christmas. Exactly. Yes. You want to say a Merry Christmas to our viewers? Yes. Merry yeah. Christmas, our viewers, and mm. welcome to this session. Mm. Uh, it's my pleasure, really, for us to share Christmas together mm. and to know what is the benefit and why do we have Christmas. Wow. Yes, it's my pleasure and most welcome. Wow. And so they are celebrating in di their different ends. Yes. And yes. we just thought that maybe a thought from God and some wisdom mm. can help them celebrate their Christmas even much better. Sure. Definitely. Yes. You know, Christmas is an act of God. Exactly. We did not create it ourselves. Yes. It's a gift which God gave us. Wow. So we are just the recipients of wow. Christmas. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And so about Christmas today, what do you want us to talk about? What do you want to well, yes. I think what comes to my mind really, anytime yes. I think of Christmas, mm. I think about the birth of Christ. Yes. And what that really means to me. Yes. Uh, is what actually Isaiah talked about wow. when he said, uh, is given us a sign of wow. a son. Wow. And his name shall be called Emmanuel. So mm. anytime I think of Christmas, yes. I think of Emmanuel. Yes. And that which means actually God with us. God with us. Yes. And so you want us to talk about Emmanuel, God with us. Yes. Yes. Wow. What an sure. interesting subject. What mm. an interesting. And so what do you mean when you say God with us? Yes. Actually, yes. What, what I mean is mm. uh, what actually Isaiah meant. Yes. Uh, when we read in Isaiah chapter 7 and mm. verses 14. Yes. Uh, you know, Isaiah wa was talking uh, about uh, a, a, a situation in yes. Israel then, mm, mm. actually, which was about Judah. Yes. And uh, the king of Judah at that time, mm. when we read from verses 1, mm. was afraid of an invasion. Yes. Uh, he had been invaded by uh, some three kings. Mm. And so, you know, the king was so worried mm. that everything will not actually stand. Wow. And that the invention will be quite disastrous. Yes. And so the king was so worried mm. and so worried. Yes. But the Lord speaks to Isaiah yes. and tells Isaiah, go ahead and encourage the king. Yes. In fact, it's in this place where we, we find that Isaiah mm. and a family. Wow. Because God tells Isaiah in this particular chapter, yes. go with your son. Yes. And, and go and meet the king. Yes. And uh, he goes, he, he tells him, okay, go ahead and carry the king mm. and tell him what you think wow. is not going to, uh, to happen. Wow. Instead, God mm. tells uh, the king yes. that, well, this thing will not happen. Wow. And you will stay securely. Mm. And that, uh, in fact, he says in 65 years, mm. the nations that you think have been quite ferocious wow. and, and very strong mm. will not be. Wow. A and so, mm. uh, in fact, uh, Isaiah goes, tells the king, yes. but the king does not seem to believe. Yes. And um, now Isaiah challenges the king. Yes. 
and asks him, please, mm. if you think what I'm telling you will yes. not come to pass, mm. ask for any sign. Wow. Ask for any sign, yes. whether in heaven or on earth or beneath the earth, yes. and the Lord will fulfill wow. it as a, a, as a sign. Wow. But the king declines to, to, to the offer, mm. but, uh, but instead says, uh, I cannot test God in this. Yes. Let me just believe what God has wow. said. Wow. But Isaiah goes ahead and mm. tells the king, mm. nevertheless, as much as you've not asked for a sign, mm. but the Lord has given you a sign. And wow. that is the time he says to him, a son will be given and his name shall be called wow. Emmanuel. Wow. So out of the discretion of God, yes. he decides to, to tell the king, mm. there shall be a greater sign. Wow. A greater sign that God is faithful. Wow. A greater sign that God will fulfill his word. Wow. And he says that great sign mm. will be in a child who will be born. Wow. And Isaiah says, the name of that child will be called Emmanuel. Wow. That is now in Isaiah chapter 7 wow. and verses 14. Wow. But later on, mm. we get to know what Emmanuel means. Yes. Okay, of course, the Jews understood mm. what Emmanuel means. Yes. But um, in the book of Luke in Matthew yes. chapter 1 and verses 22, mm. Luke writes again about the same prophecy. Wow. And says, uh, when Christ was born, yes. Luke says, that this mm. has become so that that which was written and prophesied by Isaiah the prophet, wow. that a son will be given and his name shall be called Emmanuel, yes. might be fulfilled when wow. he was writing about the birth of Christ. Yes. And so in this, Luke explains and says, Emmanuel means yes. God with us. God with us. Yes. And so a common question would yes. be, was there a point in time when God was not with us? Very interesting. Yes. And that is exactly what we get from this particular yes. mm. uh, statement about yes. Christ. Yes. Because uh, in this, mm. Isaiah says God will give us a sign. Yes. And, and that would mean uh, that uh, it will, a name would be given to the son that yes. will be, give, uh, mm. will be born. Mm. And he says, God, the name shall be Manuel, which means God with us. Yes. And the question, as you put, rightly put, yes. does it mean at one time God has not been with us? Yes. You know, mm. that is common statement. Exactly. We always say that exactly. God is with us. Yes. And... What does this mean? Does yes. it mean now God has not been with us? Yes. Now he's coming to be with us? Mm. That's a critical, critical question. Yes. Yes, it's true. Mm. God has not always been with us. Yes. <laughs> that, that is, yeah. we all know the nature of God. Exactly, that, uh, exactly. You know, one of the attributes of God is that God is omnipresent. Yes. That God is everywhere. Yes. God is everywhere. Mm. But in this case, mm. you know, we, we have coming to a theological and question that needs to be understood well. Yes. Now, this brings me also and reminds me to a, a, a scripture mm. where God was speaking yes. to one of the kings of Israel. Yes. And uh, this, this statement we always use during ordination. Yes. Uh, ordination of our pastors in Sitam. Mm. And, and, and the scripture is, you know, there is this place where God says uh, to uh, one of the kings, I don't remember the name, mm. that the Lord is with you mm. as long as you are with him. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. The Lord is with you as long as, as, long as you yes, are with him. With him. Mm. And he says... If you desert him, mm. then he will desert you. Mm. Yes. And that is exactly what happened. Yes. We know that when Adam and Eve sinned, mm. they were chased from the Garden of Eden. Yes. And not only were they chased from the Garden of Eden, mm. they were chased from the presence of God. Yes. And since then, mm. even when we read about Cain, you remember? Yes. When God was, 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 was punishing Cain yes. for, for killing his brother, mm. you know, Cain complained to God and told him, you have chased me from your presence. Yes. Now, what does that mean? 
It really means any time we go and we get into sin, mm. and we sin will and we sin will will uh, willfully. Yes. Then we are separated from God, mm. and God is no longer with us. Yes. Just as He told the king, if you decide to leave the Lord, then the Lord will desert you. Yes. So God actually was no longer with uh, with humanity. Mm. When humanity sinned, mm. then God was separated from us. Mm. And when we are talking of this aspect, God with us, mm. it means God is getting reintroduced or a relationship is being established yes. now again between man and God. Wow. Yes. And so you've said that there were times, you know, uh, following the event that happened at Eden, God left humanity. Yes. Uh, we read through the, the Old Testament and we see God in sports. Mm -hmm. God in sports. Mm -hmm. And much about Abram. When Abram realized that he had had an encounter with God, he would do an an altar. Yes. He will build an altar. Mm -hmm. And so when you're saying that uh, God was not with us. Yes. Yeah. Does it really carry water <laughs> that uh, he was not really with us? Yes. Actually, yes. you know, God would, would just come. Yes. God would just visit. Mm. You know, he would visit. And the spirit of God would come. Upon on those days in the Old Testament, yes. the Spirit of God would come upon a prophet. Mm. The, the Spirit of God would come upon uh, a king. Mm. But the rest of the people yes. had not the Spirit of God in them or with them. Yes, The Spirit of God would only come and, and just come upon them. They would prophesy yes. and then the Spirit would be lifted. Yes, You know? Mm. And not all people had mm. the Spirit of God. Mm. It's a lie today. Yes. And, and, and that, for us to put that in context, mm. when we read Joel chapter 2. Yes. You know, the Bible talks of in the last days, mm. God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Yes. Now, what does that mean? Mm. That until this prophecy was fulfilled. Yes. The spirit of God was not on all flesh. Yes. And we know that God dwells with us yes. or in us through wow. his spirit. Mm. And so humans mm. were there, but the spirit of God yes. was not in them. Okay. Wow. And the spirit of God mm. is the presence of God with us. Wow. Yes. Now, now, just still around there, how, how can you describe uh, the case of the tabernacle that represented God's presence. Yeah, you put it right. Yes. Way. It represented yes. God's presence, but it did not represent, it does not say that was God himself. Yes. You know, that was actually um, a meeting point. Yes. You know, and we know from the, the Old Testament stories, mm. that is where when God wanted to talk to the Israelites, yes. you, in, in fact, it was called the tent of meeting. Yes. God would summon them yes. there to that meeting point. Yes. And from there, God will begin now speaking to them. Yes. And uh, so the tabernacle, as we've said, mm. it actually only represented. Yes. It's a place whereby God had ordained that yes. this is where we're going to meet. Okay. But yes. that one does not say God lived there. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No. It's just a place where they came and, and talked with God. God communicated to them. Yes. But having said that, mm. you know, that was a place. Mm. And that does not say God was inside the people. Yes. But he was... He would come into their midst yes. just to converse with them wow. and speak to them. Wow. Well. Wow. Because we also have other other symbolic items like the ark, you know, the temple. Yes. Yes. And people Those would, were just representation. Yeah. And people would walk distances to go to Jerusalem in the temple, you know. Yes. And uh, 
really they thought that by being in the temple they had actually come to God's presence. Sure. Mm. And that was they actually came to God's presence yes. because that is where God had summoned them to come. Yes. And from there God would to them. Yes. And then he would even call uh, Moses to the to the to the inner court mm. for God to commune with him. Yes. Or that the glory of God would just come yes. to the tent and they would now know that God has come and is now speaking to us. Wow. Yes. And so, Emmanuel, yeah. God with us. Yes. Why, 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 why God with us? You know, yeah, we, the story has been long, but now we are coming to Emmanuel. Yes. Emmanuel is being born yes. and there's a lot that's happening. Yes. You know, the angel speaks to some, you know, shepherds, you know, to some wise people mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of activity around you know, the birth of Christ. Yes. And that's where the revelation Emmanuel comes to place. Yes. Yes. And so why Emmanuel? Now, why Emmanuel is mm. because, uh, as we all know, yes, uh, God sent the prophets. Mm. God would use a prophet yes. to go and commune with his people. Yes. And the prophet would say, that says the Lord. Yes. Prophets came and say, that says the Lord. Yes. But when Jesus comes, mm. he does not say, that says the Lord. Yes. He's different. Mm. Read the scriptures. Wow. Jesus did not say, that says the Lord. Mm. In fact, he always said, verily, verily, I say to you. Wow. Wow. Profound. Yes. You see that? Yes. That's quite remarkable. Mm. And why did Jesus have to say that? Yes. Because when we read in the book of John chapter 1 and verses 1. Yes. The Bible introduces by saying, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was, was God. Yes. In the beginning. Mm. Verses 14 of chapter 1 mm. of John. Mm. The Bible says, And the word was made flesh. Wow. And dwelt among us. Wow. And we beheld his glory mm. as the glory of the only begotten Son of God. Wow. Wow. Now, so when Jesus comes, yes. he's the very word. Wow. And so we don't say, that says the word, the Lord. Mm. Jesus did not come bringing the message from God. Yes. He himself was the message. Yes. He himself was the word. Mm. And the best, the only thing he would say was, Verily, verily, I, the word, say wow. to you. Wow. So Emmanuel is actually uh, the, the coming or the incarnation mm. of the word. And mm. we understand in this case that yes. the word was God and the, and the word was with God. Wow. And that one brings the fulfillment mm. again. Uh, or actually, or or the fulfillment yes. of this uh, of, of what we know that Christ mm. was not uh, was not a common prophet, yes. as many would would say, mm. but actually Christ was God Himself. Wow, that speaks wow. of the deity wow. of Christ. Wow, and so we know the story. The story around Emmanuel. He was born. He lived among us. And uh, at some point, he died and rose again, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then he was taken up. Yes. What does that mean? Does it mean that God also was taken up and <laughs> left? Yeah, that, that, those, are, those are very difficult questions. Yes. <laughs> you, you know, one, uh, you know, that we're talking about the Trinity. Yes. You know, how we would say that Christ is God, mm. at the same time, he would talk of, I am going to my father. Yes. You know, mm. and how we would say that, oh, now how would he be God? Yes. Does it mean that then Christ, does it mean at one time God died? Yes. Those are very difficult questions. Yes. For the common mind to understand. Mm. But nevertheless, there is logic in all that, yes. that he said. Now, when we are talking about uh, Christ being God, mm. 
we are talking of God. Yes. Being one in essence. Yes. But three in persons. Yes. As we're talking of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. So, in this case, when mm. we are talking of God with us, mm. we are talking of the second person of the Trinity. Yes. That is Jesus, yes. the Son of God. Yes. And when we are talking of this, mm. we know there is God the Father. Yes. And we still have God the Holy Spirit. Yes. But the Bible says that the three is one. Yes. And that is why in the common sense, mm. we cannot, how can we be talking three persons are one? Mm. Those are things which are difficult for human mind to understand. Yes, yes. But actually that speaks that God is one. Exactly. No, he, God is God. And yes. And God is beyond us. Exactly. He cannot be comprehended fully by mm. the human mind. Exactly. And that's why at times people tend to say, mm. you know, mm. Trinity, you know, Trinity is, is something we cannot understand. Yes. And they would say, oh, uh, Christianity is, is not uh, reasonable. Mm. Some of the things you say in, uh, among the Christians yes. uh, does not make sense. Yes. And true, it won't make sense mm. because God is God. Yes. God is in another realm. Mm. He is the creator and we are the creatures. Yes. There is no way a creature mm. can fully say, I understand my creator. Yes. That, that will not be, that will not happen. Exactly. But in this case, mm. so when we are talking of Emmanuel, we are actually talking of the second person of the Trinity mm. coming to dwell in our midst. Yes. And all this purpose was on a redemptive purpose. Yes. So it was not only a, a reason of just coming to stay with us, mm. but there was a redemptive purpose attached to it. Wow. Yes. Wow, you're saying that it was not even, it was not much about him coming to stay with us. Yes. And that is what draws the line. Mm -hmm. You know, it was God with us, but again, it was not meant that he comes and lives here permanently. Mm -hmm. And just borrowing from your words, Jesus himself says that, uh, uh, you know, unless a seed falls on the ground, it remains alone. Yes. But when it falls on the ground, it will germinate and bear even... Much more fruits. Much more fruits. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just trying, trying to read between the line, and Jesus had to die. And by dying, he rose again, and he's saying that I will send you a helper. And so the things that limited Jesus on physical body, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit can do, right? Is that what you're saying? When you bring out the, the, the image of God, the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, is still God, and today God is with, with us in form of the Holy Spirit. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Uh, yes. You know, the, the, what, it's both yes and no. Yes. <laughs> because one, yes. Uh, when we say that God is with us in form of the Holy Spirit, yes. in this case we might be saying there is only one person mm. who keeps changing. Yes. He keeps wearing oh. a different suit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that, Clarify that, it now. In, Clarify. That, in that case, yes. you know, that is not the case. Mm. These are two distinct, three distinct persons. Yes. The Holy Spirit is distinct from the Father. Yes. The, and, and distinct from Jesus. Yes. So, uh, the coming of Jesus is yes. not the Father changing <laughs> and wearing another body, and then he goes and wears another one and appears again. So, it's not okay. one person appearing yeah, in different, different yes. ways. Yes. Uh, so, uh, that's what I'm saying. But, so in that case, it's not yes. wrong. Mm. But in the case that God, yes, uh, the Holy Spirit, He's God, yes, and now He has come, yes, in that capacity as the Holy Spirit, yes, but also in the sense that He is God. Wow, He is God. Wow. So, wow. Uh, it's not God the Father, but God the Holy Spirit. Wow. It's not God the Father, but God the Son wow. dwelling with us. Wow. So God is with us. Mm. And in this case, the second person of the Trinity wow. is with us. Wow. And as I'd said, it's actually for the purpose of redemption. Wow. Let me explain this a little bit. Yes. When Jesus comes, mm. 
uh, he, he speaks and, and he says, the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. And, and that also informs the same message you're talking about, yes. God with us. Mm. The kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. Uh, okay. John the Baptist mm. has introduced Jesus. He talked about the kingdom of God. Yes. Is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. Uh, Jesus sends his, uh, his disciples yes. to go and preach. And he tells them, when you go preaching, mm. go preaching saying, the kingdom of God mm. is at hand. Yes. Uh, at one time, Jesus cast out devils from a person who was possessed. And people really marveled and said, oh, on whose authority have you done this? Mm. And Jesus said, I do this by the Spirit of God. And he said, if I'm doing this by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God wow. is at hand. Yes. What does that mean? Mm. Kingdom, a kingdom is actually a king's domain. Yes. That is how we get the word kingdom. Yes. There is a king and the other part, dome, is yes, the domain. king's domain. Yes. Now, in this case, we are saying the mm. kingdom of God. Yes. The rule of God. Yes. Has come. Mm. Now, what does that mean? Does mm. it mean God has not been ruling here on earth? Mm. Wow. As, does it mean God has been absent here on earth? Yes. Yeah. It's true. Mm. When sin entered, mm. God lifted. Yes. We even have scriptures in the book of Ezekiel, how the glory of the Lord was lifted from the temple. Yes. And some of it is figurative, mm. but actually, nevertheless, it shows us that there is a time God lifted. Yes. Because sin entered the, the world. Mm. And there's no way God would stay in the same place with sin. Wow, yes. And so the coming of Christ was the reintroduction mm. of the reign of God wow. again in the earth. Wow, wow. The, the Bible calls the devil mm. the God of this world. Yes. How did he become the God of this world? Mm. When he tricked humanity and took over the world mm. and reigned in this world and put his own systems mm. which are ungodly. Wow. So mm. when Jesus comes, he comes as Emmanuel mm. and he reintroduces the kingdom and the reign of God on earth wow. again. Wow. He reintroduces righteousness. Wow. He reintroduces holiness wow. which had been lost in Adam. Wow. And so Jesus comes as the second Adam mm. to reintroduce the rule and mm. the reign of God. Wow. And that is only possible through Emmanuel, God with us. Yes. And so Jesus dies, mm. pays the price for, 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 for death. Mm. He redeems us because, uh, from our sins. And anybody who puts his faith on Christ... Mm now is no longer under the kingdom of darkness, wow. but he comes into the kingdom of light. Wow. Wow. And the Bible says the old has passed away mm. and now we become a new creation. Wow. So the coming of Emmanuel mm. actually is an introduction mm. of the kingdom of God on earth again. Yes. And look at the mandate which God gives to, uh, for example, Paul. Mm. He tells him, I've called you so that you may turn people from darkness to light and from the kingdom of Satan to the kingdom of God. Wow. As we are speaking right now, mm. all the people we see mm. that have been and are, and are present now and those who will be mm. will only be in two categories. Yes. You are either in the kingdom of God yes. or in the kingdom of Satan. Wow. Wow. And the kingdom of God mm. was reintroduced by Emmanuel. Yes. He came and reintroduced again wow. the kingdom of God. Wow. And he said, repent for the kingdom of God has wow. come. And now, Pastor, we have to bring this to a close. Yes. And I want you to respond to this question even as you are helping our viewers. Many are asking, what has changed? What has changed? Is there anything that has changed now that God is with us? Yes. Is there anything that has changed why is it that we are still seeing many chaos around? Why is it that we are still seeing 
things happening, things that don't bring honor and glory to God. Yes. What has changed? Surely everything yes. has changed, not only one thing. Mm. <laughs> everything has changed. Mm. Now, right now, we have two kingdoms living concurrently. Yes. We have the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. Yes. Concurrently existing right now. Yes. Now, why am I saying that? Mm. You remember Jesus talked about, he said, I will liken the kingdom of God mm. with a man who planted his field, mm. but at night the enemy came mm. and planted tears. Yes. And when they grew, mm. now it became apparent yes. that not everything we see here yes. is, 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 is the wheat. Yes. But we have some tears in it. Mm. And at one point, uh, Jesus says that, okay, the, 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 the workers of the, of the, of the, of the, of the owner mm. said, why don't you go and pluck the, 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 the weeds from, 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 the, from the wheat? Mm. Uh, and the owner said, no, let, let them grow together. Mm. And, and at one day, there shall be a separation. Yes. During harvest, mm. there shall be a separation of the chaff yes. from the wheat. Mm. And that shows how when the kingdom of God were, re, was reintroduced, yes. the kingdom of Satan still reigns in the world. Mm. Actually. Yes. The Bible calls Satan the God of, of this, this world. world. Yes. And Jesus says about the same in John chapter 17. Mm. He said, you are in the world, mm. but you do not belong to the world. Wow, wow. Now, believers who have believed in Jesus, as much as we are in the world, mm. we do not belong to the, to the world. Wow. We belong to another kingdom which has wow. been reintroduced, yes. the kingdom of God. Wow. And that is why the Bible says, that's the reason why the world does not love us. Hmm. They hate us because wow. we do not belong to the world. Wow. Wow. And that is why Satan is fighting us hmm. because we do not belong to his kingdom. Wow. Wow. So um, the chaos we see in the world mm. is not happening inside the kingdom of God. Yes. There is peace. The Bible says about it in Romans. Yes. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and mm. joy in the Holy Spirit. Mm. So the chaos that is out there, and mm. even Jesus said, in the world, you mm. will have trouble. Yes. But in me, yes. I give you peace which the world cannot give you. Mm. So the chaos we see in the world today mm. is not happening in the kingdom in the of kingdom. God, yes. but it's happening in the kingdom wow. out there. Wow. And why is it happening? Mm. Because Satan is the God of the world. Wow. And he's doing that at his own free will wow. because actually he knows that his time is short. Wow. But there is a day. Wow. The Bible says that the kingdom of Satan shall be destroyed. Wow. And not this world, mm. and even this world, the Bible says, all this world shall be thrown mm. into the lake of fire and it mm. shall burn. Wow. So God will destroy this world, wow. this particular earth, mm. and there shall be a new heaven and there shall be a new earth wow. at the end of it wow. all. I want you to, to, to look at our audience yes. and affirm to them that they have a right to choose which kingdom sure. and that even with wisdom, they can choose the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and that they can make that, that decision even right now. Yes. And that decision will be honored for, a, for eternity. Sure. If they choose to walk by the statues of the scriptures, word of God. Sure. Thank yes. you so much, viewers. I just want to tell you that Jesus, mm. Emmanuel, God mm. with us, indeed mm. has come. He has come to reintroduce the reign of God in the earth. Mm. And thus he says, the kingdom of God mm. is at hand. Mm. But you have the discretion to make a free will choice, mm. whether to belong to the kingdom of God mm. or to continue living under the rule or in the kingdom of darkness. Mm. Jesus said he cared for his own, but his own did not accept him. Mm. But as many as have received him, he mm. gave the power to become the children of God. Yes. This day, you can make that decision. Mm. And I plead with you, just as the scriptures say, mm. that we plead with everybody that kindly be converted, be changed, 
Be transformed by the renewing mm. of your mind mm. by giving your life to Christ. Mm. How can we become part of the kingdom of God? Mm. By putting our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Christ has come so that he may give us life. Mm. And this you can make this day. Mm. And I would kindly want to pray with you mm. so that you may make Jesus Christ mm. your Lord and Savior. Mm. We can pray together. Yes. Our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for our viewers. Mm. There are those, Lord, who are saying we want Emmanuel, mm. God, to be with us. Mm. Those who are saying, Lord, we want to invite you into their very own lives. Mm. They are turning away from their wicked ways. Mm. They are repenting of their sins today. Mm. And they are inviting you in their, into their lives, O oh God. Mm. Our Lord, you say, Behold, I knock at the door of your heart. Mm. If you hear and you open, I will come in. Mm. Lord, I pray for all my viewers, O oh God, mm. that, Lord, as many as are making this decision, mm. I pray for a complete transformation and change. Yes. As they transform from the kingdom of darkness mm. and get translated into the kingdom of light. Yes. I pray in the name of Jesus for a complete transformation transformation from the old sinful life mm. to the newness of life, oh God. Mm. I pray for your Holy Spirit, mm. oh God, to bring a complete change mm. even in their lives, oh God. For as we accept you into our lives, mm. Holy Spirit, you make your abode in us. Yes. For Jesus, you said, if I abide in you and you abide in me, you will bear more, much more fruit. Mm. I pray for my viewers, Lord, that God, as they open up their lives to you, may you abide in them, Lord, mm. and bring a transformation. Yes. I break the works of the enemy. Mm. I destroy the works of the kingdom of darkness. Mm. And I declare the kingdom of God has come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen amen. amen, 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 amen. The Lord bless you, Pastor Kiprop. Many thanks for the enlightening thoughts. Thank you Indeed, so much. Indeed, the Lord has used you to speak to our audience. Thank you so God much. God bless you. We're praying that he may replenish you more and more. Thank you so much. And for you, our viewer, it was nice to have you. Until we meet again, stay blessed and a Merry Christmas.